Shepherd brings it away now for Scotland. That won't go to Willie Johnston. And here's Masney again. Oh, he skated past one, he skated past another. And he's got a corner. Lovely, tricky little bit of skill there by Marian Masney. Here he is, now to take the corner for Czechoslovakia. Oh, he's going to leave it to Naidushek. Brought the big number four, Dvořák, up. And it, in fact, reached the number four, but he couldn't quite turn it sufficiently to worry Allen Ruff. There he is, Dvořák. Midfield player he is, Masny. So desperate that this man turns it on tonight for them. Masny, he's a very moody player. And one tends to think that when things are going badly, he doesn't really uh, turn it on, but uh, they need it tonight from him. Here's Murder. Nehoda. Free kick. Foul by Forsyth. Masney turned well there on Forsyth. A little deflection there, and McQueen got in, but it's a corner again for Czechoslovakia. Again, uh, the big Dvořák is there. Powerfully struck corner again. Uh, murder on the far side. Coming in again, and it. Oh. Well, Guy Dushek is said to have a marvelous left foot, but uh, he's not had much of a chance of showing it yet. But another corner for Czechoslovakia. 26 minutes gone, Scotland leading by a goal to nil. Joe Jordan, the man who scored it. of Guy Dushek playing it short this time to Murder looking for a chance to get his cross in Rioch is there with him and Rioch at last with a chance to get it away here's Dalvish pass Pollack Willie Johnson on this side here's Masson Stabbing it here for McGray. Infidel Fish offside. Dvorak, no chance at all for Dobiash there. Willie Johnston. Now Hartford, Jordan, away by Dvorak, Danny McGrain. May just have come off the head of Gerg, but no it didn't. There's the goal scorer, and there's the man he beat. Dvořák for Czechoslovakia. Dobiáš. Gerk. Dobiáš. Čepkovic. Mesny.
Polak, all through the legs of Masson, he would have enjoyed that. Kirk, Dobiash, pushing a few forward now, the Czechs. Ayu Czech on the far side. Nehoda, Dobiash, Kirk, Polak. Straight to the number 14 for Sai. A throw given to the Czechs. And here's Masny. Turning McQueen again. And again. But he still can't get that yard to get the cross in that he wanted. He nearly got something going there. Hartford breaking it up. Now Masny. Green. Now Willie Johnston. Really fighting for every ball. Go on, he says. Dalgleish is going on as well. A chip across there. And now it'll come for Masson for the shot. A little chip just wide. That looked very dangerous indeed as Dalgleish was allowed to go on. But in the end, the Scots could get nothing out of it. And here's the goal kick. Half an hour gone, one nothing. Nehoda to Gaiducek. Murder. Nehoda. Masny, the little touch, but off the referee. He got it where he wanted the second time. But Masson got it where he wanted as well. Joe Jordan. Well, again, the throw given to Scotland, uh, to uh, Czechoslovakia, rather. Polak. Murder. Dobiash. Gerg, beginning, just suspecting that they're beginning to put one or two things together, the Czechs now. Looking just a little more confident and looking with a little bit of luck that they might be in a position to open up the squats. But at the moment, they've got to do some more defending with Masson on the ball. Now Riok. McQueen to Masson. McGrain turning well on Pollock. Dalgleish, beautiful touch. Now McGrain again, no penalty. But it comes to Willie Johnston. Masson turning it in. And Michelek throwing it there for Dvorak. Masson. Hartford, the Scottish midfield, very, very hard at the moment to deny. Again, Masson doing the masterminding is Riot looking forward at every opportunity to come forward for a shot. But well, that's another goal kick. Having a tremendous game already, Don Masson. Jack holding off Jordan, a nice little touch there by Murder for Gerg. Nehoda, the number 11, doing the chasing. And here's Joe Jordan to Bruce Rioch. Oh, that was wide of Hartford and fell for Pulak. Dobiash, a bad pass. Dalgleish, Masson, Hartford, nice touch, good play by the Scottish midfield. Now Willie Johnston. Played in for Dalgleish. Can he turn and make something of it? McGrain. 
Johnston. And that'll go for a corner for Scotland. Again, McQueen is up there. And the only Scottish goal so far has come from a corner when McQueen used his weight, as you can see there, and his agility on that line. Well, the Scottish crowd behind that goal must have seen something and claimed, I would imagine, that there was a bit of bumping and boring on McQueen. But the referee allowed it to go on. But here's Willie Johnston. Masson. Nehuda. Polak. Dorbiash. Murder. Hajducek, Neherder in the middle. But McQueen got the better of that one. And here's Asa Hartford, number 10. And here's Tenny Dalvish. Rioch, Hartford. Good play by the Scots, Willie Johnston. Joe Jordan's on the far side. Oh, and the goalkeeper's lost it. And Hartford has put it in. 2-0. Look at the contrast there. Pollock head down. Hartford jubilant. And Jordan creating problems there as Willie Johnston floated this cross in. The goalkeeper looked to have got it and then just threw it down invitingly at Asa Hartford's feet. And you will not get an easier goal in the World Cup than that one. 2-0 to Scotland. From the camera behind the goal at the other end. What a tantalising cross by Willie Johnston. The keeper under pressure, but losing it, and that's what you call an open goal. So the Scots are in tremendous heart. Asa Hartford having a put them 2 0 ahead, with still eight minutes to go to half time. Well, it was the keeper's mistake. Only winning his sixth cup tonight, 23 years old, Pavel Michalik. A real test of his nerve. And in the early minutes, it looked as though he was equal to it with one or two very sound saves. But now the Czechs are really up against it. with the throw for Scotland. Three times the Czechs have been to Glasgow in their history and three times they've been beaten. And Dobiash putting that behind for another Scottish corner. Queen coming up again to put more pressure on this man. Masson curling it in again towards Gordon McQueen. Looks a bit like a hand pushing that one down. McGrain with a throw. Masny, Sandy Jardine back to Alan Rock. Jardine for Jordan, but Gerg for Czechoslovakia, an interception there, and here comes Scotland again. Oh, and a good save that time. From Willie Johnston. Springing up on that right-hand side. But Mitchell got down well. McGrain to Masson. Hartford, nice turn. 
Elvish. A grain to Massa. Oh, a nice dummy, Jordan there, cut out at the very last by Pelbrick. And here's Jardine. Offside against Elvish. for Rioc, and that time it came off Nehoda, who I suppose couldn't have been more than four yards off the ball when it was struck.
Good jump there by McGrain. A nice touch by Hartley. The Scots playing really well. Johnson with a long, long cross again towards Joe Jordan. And the Bayas getting it away. The Scots well worth their 2-0 lead. They've defended well when they've had to. They've been brilliant in the middle of the field, with Masson in particular, closely followed by Hartford. Rioch always going forward looking for goals, and Dalgleish and Jordan being very difficult to handle, with Johnston doing good work down the wings. A good all-team performance by Scotland so far, leading 2-0 here against the European champions of Czechoslovakia. Of course, the Czechs beat the Scots 2-0 in a previous World Cup game, in Czechoslovakia a year ago. Chapkovic back to Michalik as we come to the last seconds of the first half. Dobiash, Polak, one or two little flashes from Masny, but as yet not a serious shot for Alan Ruff to save in the Scottish goal. And there goes the half-time whistle, and what a brilliant first half it's been for Scotland, with Joe Jordan having put him ahead after 18 minutes. Asa Hartford having added to that one after 36. There's Joe Jordan, tremendous climbing header by him, that put the Scots on their way. Asa Hartford having added the second one, and a lot more excitement to come here at Hamden Park. We'll be back after this short break.
Welcome back to Hampden Park for the start of the second half of this World Cup game. Scotland leading Czechoslovakia 2-0. The Scots in the shirts of dark blue and the Czechs have made a substitution. They've taken off Josef Murder, their number eight midfield player, and they've brought on Knapp, the number 14, who's on the ball at the moment. The little back heel there. There's Knapp again. Dalvish. Joe Jordan. Oh, and they were very nearly in trouble there. Danny McGrain. Tremendous first half by Scotland. Played with great pace and skill and verve and really to a large extent overpowering the Czechs who are going to have to fight and play as they've never fought before to get back into this World Cup qualifying game now Gorbiash Gerg oh, straight to Asa Hartford and here's Kenny Dalglish no that just fell for Gerg and here's Gorbiash now for Polak. Mazny. They uh, weren't far from uh, getting themselves a chance there on the edge of the box, but again, the Scottish defence snuffed it out. Gajducek to Nehuda. Here's Knapp, the substitute. Gerg to Polak, Borjak, Dobiash. Desperate for a goal early on in this second half to try and pull themselves back into this game. Wales, the other team in this group, I suppose the ideal result for Welshmen tonight would have been a draw, which would have kept the pot boiling nicely for them. Certainly it'll mean if Scotland go on and win this one that the Welsh simply have to beat Scotland at Anfield. And then do a very good job of work when it's their turn to play in Czechoslovakia. Wales, of course, having already beaten the Czechs 3 0 in Wrexham. Here's Alan Ruff, who's hardly had a shot to save. Hartford to Masson. To McGrain. Masson to McQueen. Oh! Covered in time. Long leg just poking that ball back. Dvorak there first. Polak. Masny. A little right back there. Parich running uh, hard for it. And pulled back by Willie Johnston, giving the Czechs a free kick. 